Sometimes Adobe Captivate just stops working the way you would expect it to. This video will help you with that. So what we're talking about today, guys, is uh, saving you the trouble of having to reinstall Adobe Captivate from scratch. I don't know about you, but uh, the total download size of Adobe Captivate with all the optional installs is uh, several gigabytes uh, to download. So if you don't have to go through that process, um, it would be ideal, of course. So today we're going to be talking about taking your existing installation of Adobe Captivate and resetting it back to factory settings. And that's what we're going to do right now. So uh, here's my desktop here. You can see that uh, I've got a shortcut to Adobe Captivate on my, my taskbar down below. I'm going to right click on that and then right click on Adobe Captivate itself and bring up the properties window for that particular program. And you'll see that there's a button here called open file location. This is just going to uh, bring me to the location where Captivate is installed. So you can see here on a Windows machine, it's typically going to be uh, C program files, Adobe, Adobe Captivate 2019 X64. And I'm looking for a folder called utils, U-T-I-L-S. I'm going to open that up here and you're going to see uh, a bunch of uh, files here. Now, I don't have Captivate running. That's important right now. And I'm going to actually run this, uh, this little batch program, it's called Clean Preferences Win. This is going to run a series of commands, essentially DOS commands, to reset Captivate back to its factory settings. Uh, similarly, there's Clean Preferences Mac for you Mac users there. And of course, you'd be running this on a Mac to, to utilize that. But I'm going to double click on Clean Preferences Win because I'm obviously running a Windows machine. You'll see a command window just kind of flash for a second. It doesn't take long to, to do this. And of course, now Captivate has been reset. But before I launch Captivate again, there's one other thing that you may need to do. This is an optional part of this, but recommended. I'm going to navigate to, first of all, my C drive and then go into the Users folder. Not my own user folder, but the public user folder. Go into Public Documents and then there's a folder called Adobe. And you should see a folder called eLearning Assets. Now, what this contains are any of the sample projects, the uh, learning interactions that are included with Adobe Captivate, the theme files that create the look and feel of your e-learning projects, plus any downloaded content that you may have gotten from the asset store or from Adobe Stock or e-learning brothers. So you want to make sure that if there's anything in these folders that you want to keep, uh, you would want to back up the contents of this folder first. I've actually already checked and know that there's nothing in here that I need to keep. So I'm going to go ahead and delete all of those folders. The reason I'm doing so is that some of the files there or some of even the folder structure may have become corrupt. So before I launch Adobe Captivate again, I want to get rid of anything that's basically from the previous installation. So now I'm going to launch Captivate and I'm going to keep this uh, folder open just to show you that when you launch Captivate, it recreates all of this from uh, archived copies of all the different files and folders that you need. So I'm going to go ahead and close that out-of-box video that you would only see the first time you install Adobe Captivate or when you perform these procedures here. And of course, now I have a fully clean install of Adobe Captivate. One last thing I'll, I'll say is that if you do like to customize your preferences, uh, this process will have reset all those preferences. So you need to go into your Edit drop-down menu go all the way down to preferences here and uh, implement those changes. I'll show you a couple that I do. I prefer to publish my 
e-learning projects to my desktop. So I'm going to select that as the default location to where I publish my content. And uh, the project cache currently is storing itself over on my OneDrive account, which means that I'm basically uploading a whole bunch of temporary files to my cloud storage. I don't really want to do that, so I'm going to browse to a special folder that I've created on my PC that, uh, that is strictly for my Captivate cache. I just simply call it CP cache and I store it directly off the root of my C drive. So I'm going to select that, select that folder, and then click OK. So now I've basically returned all my customizations uh, back to the way they were, and I have a nice, clean, running copy of Adobe Captivate. If you thought this video was useful, please like and share with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, hire me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that achieves your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.